What's happening everybody? Of course, it's your host Brink Young and you are tuning in to the most award winning talk show in Memphis, Atlanta and Mobile, Alabama. Of course, all of the trophies are in the background. I said award winning. I'm talking about Brink TV. Now do not, and I mean this, do not adjust your TV set. We got a brand new face kicking it with us on the icy white couch. My man, look dog, you, you, you go by so many different names. You got so many different hustles, so many different businesses i almost don't know what to call you i can call you mr i work for money i can call you ralph getty i can call you gonzo i could just call you money yes, but right now i'm gonna call you the 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 feature guest on the most award-winning talk show on brink tv i'm gonna call you that yes, so what's happening with you man Man, not much staying alive, man. Believe that. Hey, first and foremost, I gotta say thank you for coming on the show. It means a lot to thank have you, you for kicking me, man. You know, <laughs> most definitely. Now we got plenty to talk about because, as I said in your introduction, man, you are a man of many hats. Even though you got your own hat on right now, and that's what we gonna get into first. Get into the merchandise because you actually have your own clothing line, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's talk about it. What is it called? It's called I Work For Money. Okay. And it's a clothing line, brand new. Okay. So that's that's a pretty cool name. Like, let's get into the name. How did you come up with that? It just came to me. You know, uh, I feel like it came from God, you know. Everybody called me money. You yeah. know, money bag at work or whatever. And it just, I wanted something of my own, you know, made it uh, through a clothing line and called it my own. I work for money. Believe it. And, and I think that's amazing, man, because when it come down to it, man, we not working for friends. We not working for likes. We not working for appreciation. Free. We not working for exposure. <laughs> like he finna say it. Like I finna say it. We not working for free. No, it's all about that money, man. No, and yeah. that's that's definitely a brand that I can, you know, identify with because I work for money. I do it yes, every day. A lot of us do, I it, hope. Exactly. Uh, yeah, they should do. You I know, all so. these scammers out here, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of times uh, you know, I do stuff out of my heart, so I work for free sometimes. Okay, so okay. I, everything ain't for money. Sometimes. Yeah. Gotta have that balance yes, in there. Yes, you sir. know, ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, okay. You know, like, man, you know, you can't expect money from everything, you know, or you're gonna get the same in return. You're gonna have to pay, you know, ain't nothing, you know. I it feel you. Like that. I feel you, man. So let's go ahead and talk about the beginning of I Work for Money. You guys actually began last March, right? Last yes, spring. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I mean, like, what, what got you into, you know, I it mean, was, where does it come it from? It was the be beginning of the pandemic. Okay. And uh, a lot of stuff a lot of stuff came into fruition, and uh, a lot of things changed, you know, with the virus and how it first, first had kicked off. Uh, a lot of people didn't know what, what was next, what was coming next, or whatever. And uh, so I just got to be creative. A lot of people started businesses then, and um, and they took off. And uh, like I said, it just came to me, and, and I put put A and B together, and then and I got C. You know what I mean? Got registered, got copyrighted, and I ran with it. And I started. Uh, I bought my machines actually. Uh, I did all this stuff out of pocket, man. Yeah. And like I say, I self-taught myself, and. Uh, Got a lot of help from my family and friends too, but uh, we rocking like that, you know. I ain't man, really had no help. But I really got it out the mood. Yeah, man, that's incredible, man. Yeah. Because to think about, you know, how so many businesses spun through such a a, a, a crazy time, you know, yeah. so many uh, wonderful things came out of that. So many beautiful things yeah. were born out of that, you know. Yeah. And your business is definitely one of them. So let's get into, you know, the clothing line. I mean, you got apparel for just guys, or you got some for the ladies, you got some for kids. What you got for everybody? Okay. You know, as far as you know, I know you spoke on the kids, but I, of course I got uh men apparel. Okay. You know, uh, women apparel, ladies. Uh, we had some swimsuits last year. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, just it was just a trial and error period. Uh, and uh, we tried them again this year. Uh, didn't really take off like that, but I'm thinking, uh, you know, I always trying to, you know, motivate and, and yeah. motivate myself to. I always change and you know just go with the next thing so fall coming up so we're gonna go back with the long sleeves and we're gonna do letterman coats this year okay oh man that's, that's one gonna be one. lit yeah that's gonna be lit you know in the angle line man spring break will be around the corner after a while so ladies if you definitely work for money you know because we know you work for money make sure you get your i work for money bikini or swimsuit or something be on that miami beach you know hey represent all right so let's talk about you know because i I did mention kids and thing for the kid gotta have some got, baby bibs or something man yeah, onesies or something i got all it like okay I, I do uh customized stuff too okay so you know a lot of the cute stuff yeah the, you know the women that say for the kids and stuff the i do half what they say half a birthday yeah yeah all this stuff that 
the women that think just the cuties and right. all of those. And uh, speaking of kids, my son actually getting them started. He got his own brand too. Wow. You know, okay. Big dreams. Yeah. And uh, so uh, with the kids or whatever, I know they don't work for money. You know? They parents do. Yeah. Get the, <laughs> hey, go have a shirt that say "My mom, mom works, works for money. money then, My dad works for money. And I got Coming them soon. The big dream. There you go. You know there you I mean? go. So they dreaming to work for them. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah but his name, uh, Bryson. So it's his initial B I G. So okay. Oh, that's incredible, man. Year, man. So it's gonna stick with him. And, yeah. And he don't even know, but it's all for him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, man. Keeping it in the family. Now, sure. let's go ahead and transition a little bit. Before we get off the clothing line, how could the people buy the clothes? You know, how, how would they be able to patronize and support? You can go direct. You can uh, email me. Um, I work for money 2020 at Gmail. Uh, I got the IG. I work for money. You just type it in just like that with the four or the F O R. Um, Facebook. You can, I work for money the same way. Uh, you can direct uh, message me, DM me. <laughs> yeah. But for a lot of people that don't know, message me anywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, hit my beeper. <laughs> Get at me. <laughs> Get them. Hey, but like I said, let's go ahead uh, transition. You mentioned family, you know, and we're talking about keeping it in the family. You actually come from a very entrepreneurial family, man. Like, did, did you ever feel any pressure, you know, because – that's like you got some real successful people in your family i know his family you know i know him personally and it's like did, did you feel any pressure to you know feel those shoes so you to know, speak it was, it was some you know big shoes to feel you yeah. know i would say that but uh it being you know uh, a lot of entrepreneurs you know in my family uh you know just as i saw growing up it, so much and you know it it was kind of easy to take on that because we had always seen it but you know, it was a little difficult because you know you gotta you know live up to them expectations right. and whatnot. And uh, but uh, you know, we did what it had to do. What we had to do, man, got it done, and you know went to the top, man. And mm -hmm. I can say that as we go on, you know, people feel like you know they they can't feel you know with the shoes, you know, with the people they they came before them can't feel, and and, and you know a lot of them would, and that's what failure, you, you know it. It could be almost like a roadblock. You right. know what I mean, what I'm trying to get out, and uh, so a lot of people will probably crumble and you know and, and wouldn't live up to the expectations. But you know, luckily we did, and you know, a lot of things that I touch, I try to fulfill it and, and take it to the top, man. So. That's what we have with it. That's incredible. And, of course, I got to say shout out to Dejar. You know what I'm talking about. And, of course, I love my blues. That song is out right now. We're talking about blues, man. All right, so let's go ahead and transition. You know, I did mention the music, you know, from, from Unc. You actually got music. You 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 used to be an artist, and you uh, are an artist. I mean, is. what do I say? I mean, how do I how, how, how do I describe it? Uh, you could say almost like something you put down and then go back and pick it back up. Okay, you know? okay. So uh, it was a lost art, but you can it's always it always can be found. You I know got what you. I mean? So you could just say riding a bike again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and start back pedal. All right. So you actually was doing music back in high school. Yeah. You know, yeah. did a few talent shows, and the people was feeling you. They was rocking yeah. with you. What made you just put it to the side, man? man it was one of the talent shows. Okay. <laughs> Apollo. Uh, say what now? Apollo at the White House. Uh, they booed me. Okay. You, know you got man? booed. Oh, I was come a freshman. On. <laughs> 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 and uh, so I've been doing it all, man. But we took we can laugh at that to this yeah. day, man. Yeah. Yeah. Freshman, they let my she was a senior. They let my sister sing. We sung to Jay Z and Beyonce. She did a pod. So yeah, real good. Yeah. As soon as I started rap, they didn't give me a chance. <laughs> <laughs> man, they started booing me like it, it was just meant to happen. Saying man came. Right, right. And uh, everybody remember that man. Yeah. Uh, we redeemed ourselves uh, the next year. Okay. We did the three six? Who run it? Yeah. Told the club. Uh, <laughs> I promise you, it's been history ever since. Ever since. So you actually about to get back into the music scene? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why not? Man, All right, so, so much when, money, man. It when, man, money. when we waiting on it, I'm working now, man. Okay, I, okay. It's like I ain't never stopped. Like I say, this, this, uh, this, this lost art that I, you know, I was was in them basements in the dungeon, you mm -hmm. know, still working, even though just trying to create something with substance. Right. You know what I mean, because a lot of times, if it don't make sense to me, then uh, you know, I, I find my way out of it. Or I, I won't do it. I won't continue. You know what I mean? It gotta make sense. Um, I keep God first, so you know what I mean. Uh, and, you know, it just come from you know come from him, and if if I don't feel like it's right, you know I'm out. You know what I mean? I can do some, I can do bad by myself or good by my own self. Yeah, you know I man, I don't do bad, but you know, yeah, you gotta take the good with the bad, man. But I I, I choose to do good, and uh, all my businesses. If I start with a good solid foundation, and I know it'll flourish.
Yes, sir. All right, so, of course, it's another business that you actually been, you know, working on for quite some time, but it's now beginning to stick out. We talking about with the dogs, right? You guys breeding? Oh yeah, we doing the dog breeding. Okay. And uh, it's called BCM Kennels. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, me and my little brother Chris, we trying to take that far too. You know what I mean? Uh, kind of always been into dogs, you know, all all our life or whatever. But we trying to take it to another level, man. Yep. All right, so let's talk about that, man. Like, because, I mean, that's kind of different. I don't see that. You know, I don't have too many guests on my show that's actually into dog breeding. So, I mean, how did you get started? And, you know, let's talk about, you know, what the people can expect from that. Okay. Like I say, uh, got started. We always been into dogs, you know. Uh, got started with German Shepherds, a uh, guy named Mr. Moore. You know, we used to go over his house all the time, uh, raised with him. He basically, you know, we raised around dogs. He gave us our first German Shepherd. And uh, we got another one from Kentucky, a girl and a boy, and we saw what we already saw what he was doing. You know what I mean? This was his full time job, so and we just followed suit and did that. Sold those littles, and, and we saw the the supply and demand aspect of that. Man, you got you got what they want. They coming to get it, man. So, and uh, this market in this in this 20th century, man, is is really shot off. So we got really uh, really serious with it. Uh, just got a new. We call him his name Legend. Okay. And uh, he's gonna be the legend of the South, man. And okay. The legend of the world, really, man. Yeah. And uh, he's a murder bully. You know, uh, paid a pretty penny for him. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he up next, man. Yeah. He up next. That's incredible. So of course they could uh, pretty much, if anyone wants to, you know, get into that service with you, you know, patronize or anything like that, they can contact you. How? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I say uh, my little brother. Uh, he basically gonna be over with man, Chris. BCM Kennels, you know what I mean. I don't want to give his number. I got you. I got BCM you. BCM Kennels on Facebook, you know, uh, or get with me. I work for money, and we we collaborate, co-op. So you know what I mean. Same, same family. All right. Now, outside of all of these businesses, man, what are you doing in your spare time, if you have any at all? <laughs> exactly. Uh, of course, you know I ain't quit my day job. Yeah. You know what I mean, I still got my day job. I'm, I'm trying to get that. <laughs> to get it's coming, that. man. Yeah. Uh, just knowing that you know one thing can supply the other and uh can one day get you out of that um you know if you feel like it's a it's a burden on you or whatever you're right. making enough and this and that or right. if one day you hustle uh, or just overcomes your day your day job yeah. and you just run with that man man to be honest man i i go ahead and i guess you'll say tell my testimony you know basically oh. like for me you know i did the day job thing for eight years you know after a couple years, I could have left, but then I was thinking about, you know, well, how could I get Brink TV in another city? Right. And then I used day job money to do that, to invest in that. And then I got even more money, and I was like, well, I can leave now. Well, how can I get it into another city? And that's what I kept doing, you know. So sometimes, man, it's just it's, it's holding on to it till you get to the exact point to where you definitely want to say, all right, I'm out. And I think definitely with the clothing line and the breeding, the what you say is B, BC what now? BCM Kennels. BCM Kennels. I think between those two and the music. You hey, somewhere, somewhere, hey, it's coming soon. It's, it's coming somewhere. soon. I hope your boss ain't watching this. But anyway, <laughs> but I mean, it's hey, it, it, it's understood, man. It's all about elevation. It's all about you know doing things while we're young enough to really uh, succeed in life. You know, because the, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, man, we never want to be the guy in his fifties saying, man, I could have been. I and could have been. I was gonna say too. We, yeah. we went, you spoke on a number. Yeah. He just like that. I was gonna say, you know, even fifty years from now, not saying that I don't want um, these businesses going, or even with the people that came before me. You know, somebody else got it to this point. Right. And even fifty years from now, I do everything right now, self. You know, but when my when my employees do come, you know what I mean. Uh, I can see myself going into other things and even still keeping this company running because. I don't want to, 50 years from now, I don't want to be doing, you know, the exact same thing I'm doing right. now unless it's 10 times better, you know yeah. what I mean? And, but I still want this business around 50 years from now. Right. You get what I'm saying? Even though yeah. it's not uh, so-and-so running it, yeah. you know what I mean? I can just oversee it. Right. You know yeah so hey my guy is definitely out here he's making this thing happen like i say doing it straight from memphis you say you from the haven from man the haven. man black what was haven, it like man, growing haven. what was it like growing up in white haven for you man or black haven should i say both uh the haven uh it was it was it was it was rough okay you know what i mean it's 
Some people call it, or don't want to call it the South, but it's South of Memphis. Oh, yeah, it's uh, South Memphis, South yeah. you're going to get before you get to South Asia. Exactly, yeah, so that's, that's still South Memphis. Hey, uh, <laughs> look, man, the people that say Westwood and, and Whitehaven ain't South Memphis, you're crazy. Because both of them is part of South Memphis, man. So, hey. You're going to be in that water. Exactly. But, uh, it, was, it was cool, you know what I mean, just like in the other neighborhood, you know. Uh, we got into mischief and stuff like that, and you know had to be in the house for the sun. For the sun went down. Or yeah. For the light. Street light. Yeah. yeah, man. Yep. So daylight saving, you get a couple of hours. Yeah. Going, you know what I mean. But it hurts you when the, when the sun go down at five. Yeah. You gotta come on in. But uh, we got into our little trouble, but not too much because we, our head was on right, man. But uh, went to school, graduated, man, and uh, you know. Lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible, man. All right, so you already gave your social media. This is my favorite thing of this Brink TV show because we got two cameras. So this camera right here, man, that's your camera. See, what I need you to do, I need you to look into this camera and tell the people why they should shop with you, why they should buy a dog from you, why they should uh, check out your new music when it come out. Look at that camera. Go. All right, all right. Check it out. Check it out. You should shop with me, man, because... Uh I'm a God fearing guy, man, and uh, you know I do business the right way. Got uh, apparel, clothes, shoes if you want them, you know what I mean. But uh, I got uh, dogs, you know the dogs. Um, we're a family knit, you know community, uh, family knit group, and um, we won't do anything bad, say you any, anything bad as far as we uh, we do good business. Uh, come get you a dog. Come get your shirt. Get a shirt for your dog. You know, listen to music while you know about the music, man. Just uh, you know, you work for money, man. Come get some, cause I know you ain't working for free. <laughs> I promise, I love it. Now you got some over there. I don't know what it is exactly, yes, but what, what you got, man? What's that over there? For you, man. It's a uh, couple uh -oh. shirts, couple See? shirts, of pearls. There we go. I got to uh, put your fly in. There man. we go. I work for money. Hey, I know you do. Hey, then he got the right colors. These are the main colors that I be wearing on the Brink TV yes, show. Sir. And of course, you will be seeing me wearing these on an up and coming episode of Brink TV. Appreciate it's going to be amazing because I got to represent the brand. Yes, that's, sir. Some, yes, sir. that's something that we do here on Brink TV. Appreciate and they match the pillows. You see? <laughs> Bow. You know what I'm talking about? Brink I TV. I said, I got it. It's actually my first time doing the real show. Okay. Please, yeah. So. After a year, I was like, I think it's time. Oh, yeah, it's time. It's time. And w it ain't a better place to do it than on the Brink sure, TV show. Sure. Most of the winning talk show in Memphis. I definitely got to say thank you again for coming on the show, man. It means a lot to have you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you for having me, man. Most you know, definitely. War winning. Hey, that's where we at. With that being said, the couch, hey, we, hey, Icy White, man. That's where we at. That's what we doing, man. With that being that's said, up. now back to more Brink TV.